What's up, guys? Hello. Hey, BTS, gentlemen, how are we feeling? Ooh. At Rig Jack Curry. <laughs> We're feeling very good. Hey, right, how you doing? I bet, man. I am doing so good. Excited to be talking to you guys within the last 24 hours, breaking your own record on YouTube, Butter, with over 10 million views in 13 minutes, like four million of which were like the second that it came out. So round of applause on that. Yeah, you know, I've always been so impressed with how you guys handle a BTS release, whether it's a song, an album, a concert announced, merch, you know, it's just so cool to watch from like the sidelines, everything from the pre-promotion to the teases, in the case of Butter, the countdown, the mysterious countdown that got everyone talking. What is your favorite part? about the pre-promotion process. Like, obviously we know the fans hearing the song for the first time is crazy, but, but what about everything leading up to that? Uh, we're Koreans, we like it fast, we like it swift, so <laughs> it's, it's so hard for us to wait for this whole process. You know, when the teaser's coming out, when the photos are coming out, um, those are so um, exciting, but, but really stressful as well. But, yeah. you know, we love the, just the moment when people listen to the song for the first time and like and like like panic and like you know like like freak out. That's the that's the most thrilling part and exciting part that we love. Yeah. yeah. So everything that contributes to the building excitement and the intensity up into the moment second instant that the video drops and then getting to see the panic, good panic that ensues when ARMY hears a BTS release for the first time. So speaking of first times, you know, you guys are our first return guest here on the Spout podcast. You first appeared on our very first episode with Tino Cuccino and welcome back first and foremost, but second, I kind of have a gripe with you guys because you told Tino that you enjoy pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Does pineapple belong on pizza? Everyone loves Hawaiian! We love Hawaiian. Eh? Ha Hawaiian pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hawaiian. Hawaiian. We love Hawaiian. I love it. Not bad. I love it. We love it. Not bad. We Everyone love it. it. Now this is a controversial thing here in the States and we take our pizza seriously. Personally, I'm team no pineapple, but I understand everyone has their own taste buds and, and likes and dislikes. So that got me thinking, what other unique combinations of food does BTS like? This interview was done again, so this time we can add a hamburger with pineapple and eat it again. Wow, that's so controversial. Wow. That's, that's not even controversial. This, this is like a whole other level. You're just doing this on purpose now. <laughs> I, I see you guys, I see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Jimin's like, nope, not me. Keep me out of this. So dangerous. It is dangerous. Yeah, but hey, that's a perfect transition. You guys got the BTS McDonald's meal coming out. Now, I've seen other artists do this. There's been some awesome collabs, but I think you guys are kind of doing it best. You got the repackaging of the meal. You have the online exclusive downloads. You've got the Korean sauce that a lot of people have never gotten to try before. But there's no toy. Oh, yeah. Now, I totally get it, right? This isn't a happy meal, at least for this launch. But they got me thinking, if you were to make a BTS happy meal, let's say you teamed up with McDonald's in the future, what would a BTS toy look like? What would be included? I even bought Travis Scott, but it's really beautiful. It's beautiful. What would you say? I used to have a McDonald's toy. Yeah. Oh, my God. 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 그런 것들을 한번 다시 한번 해보면 Great. 어떨지. Mm. Okay. I like that you're leaning into the nostalgia of McDonald's toys too. Not something super modern, but like throwbacks. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like a fanny pack, a BTS fanny pack would be dope. Mm. You never know. You never know. And to go off of food too, we've already established the pineapple debate, so <laughs> we can put that on aside for a second. But when you guys aren't on the road or going to restaurants or getting catering, what uh, what are you doing at home? Are you cooking for yourself? Are there any chefs in the group? What are we making? Gin and sugar. Maybe gin and sugar. And what do you like to make the best? I like to make the best food. Ah, okay. Who likes to make the best food? I like to make the best food. Medium rare, please. Ah, medium rare. Today, go go? Oh, yes. Today, go go. And sugar? I like to make the best food. I don't like to make the best food. I like to make the best food. I like to make the best food. So kimchi jeon, you're just pajao jeon kimchi jeon. Ooh, yeah, I'm a I'm a kimchi fan. I've never tried kimchi pancakes though, so that would be really cool to try. You know, you guys should look at doing like a BTS cookbook or or sharing your recipes. I bet the fans would love that. 
Ah, yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go. We're just out here coming up with ideas. Yeah. Speaking of putting out things for the fans, though, you know, we already touched on the pre promotion of the music, but before any of that even starts, when you're still creating the music, you know, obviously you guys are pretty awesome with keeping new stuff coming, but sometimes it's not as fast as some people want. The army is excited we can get impatient when we want more bts things but you guys also want to get it perfect so what about putting out new music takes the longest what is the hardest thing to get right definitely detail I can't even imagine. And that just makes it so much more impressive. The songs are already bangers. They're already hits. But the fact that you're conveying the same amount of love, same amount of talent and passion in tracks that are in English, not your first language. There's people hearing Dynamite and now Butter on the radio that might not even realize that. You know, that, that makes that so much more commendable. Now, with that said, you guys are getting the radio play in the Western markets, finally, that you deserve. So a lot more people are learning about BTS, right? They've seen you guys on the award shows or maybe they've seen the television performances. But now that we have that constant radio play with Dynamite and now Butter, there's a lot of people looking you guys up on Spotify and Apple Music going, okay, what else do they have? So for fans that are just joining ARMY, for the newer ARMY members here, do you have a message uh, for the people that are experiencing and binging the older BTS tracks, going through the old records. Oh, uh, so first things first, welcome to the team. Um, <laughs> welcome. And there, there are some actually some fun chapters be, um, before Dynamite. Um, there's some Dynamite chapters right now. We're we're in like 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 our fourth chapter, but first chapter there was school. Um, the second chapter there was kind of like a the most beautiful moment in life. And the third chapter, we got Love Yourself, Map for the Soul. So there's some actually narrative that we have um, walked this way and path. And there are a lot of songs, a lot of albums, a lot of behind the scenes, um, literally BTSs and you know the videos, social media. So maybe it'll take a year to you know chase all the past things of BTS. So there's no exit, there's no kind of get out. So, welcome to the team. Please don't, don't go out. <laughs> Have a great time. Have a great day. BTS story. Just enjoy the ride. I love that. You know, experience everything that led up to this point. Live in the moment and then look forward to and get excited about the future of BTS. I cannot wait to see what's coming up next for you guys. I think that's the perfect note to wrap up on too. You know, thank you so much for taking the time, guys. And thank you, seriously, for being our very first repeat guest on Spout. You kicked off our first episode and now here you are back to close us out for season one. Thank you, Eric. Thank it was you, an honor. Thank, thank you, Spout. Thank you, thank Alpha. You. It was my honor, guys. Thank you. We'll see you next time, all right?